Today I'm going to create a library of widgets in my Flutter app. I'll start off by creating a new widgets.dart file, which will be a library of widgets for my app, and after that I'll add a new widget to that library. Then I'll import it in the main app and show how that's wired up. To get going, I'm going to go to IntelliJ IDEA. I'll find the lib directory. I'm going to right click, go new file. And on this file, I'm going to name widgets.dart. Widgets this will be my new library of widgets, which will be a variety of classes in this file. To get going, I'm going to use live templates to autocomplete a new widget class. In this widget, I'm going to create a stateless widget which is a simple widget without any state changes or rendering changes. And it's asking me to autocomplete or add a name to the widget. And I'm gonna simply call it Texty. I'm not gonna go into an elaboration on widget design here. So in this container, oh, but before this, I, gotta, I have undefined types because it wants me to import its library of these classes, so Let's hit Alt Enter on one of the types. And instead of doing the widgets.dart, I'm going to select material.dart, like the examples. Okay, so now that I've imported the library for a stateless widget, the red goes away, the errors are cleared. So now I'm going to add a child to simply put something in here that works, and it's going to be a new text widget, and this works. Okay, so now I've created my first widget in my library. I'm going to go to main.dart and wire it up. I'm going to simply replace the home to show that I can import and use the widget. So in this case, I'm going to go new texty widget and instantiate it. And there we go. It is undefined because it doesn't have a reference to the library at the top. So I need to import that. The quickest way for me to do that is simply use autocomplete by selecting Alt Enter on Texty. And it finds the type in my class path, in the lib class path. And I'm gonna auto import that by simply clicking on the autocomplete first option. And if I scroll to the very top, and there it is, it imported my flutterbox widgets.dart and there it is that's the file so let's just test to see if my wiring works the import and the new library that i added and the widget renders so i'm going to click on debug and it's going to load up in my iphone se simulator okay it looks like it's loading up and it works I'm not going to cover the material design scaffolding at this time. I just wanted to show that a simple stateless widget without any design or styling would load. So to review, let's review the steps that I took to create my library. So the first step, I right clicked and created a new widgets.dart file. In that dart file, I created a class and then used autocomplete to import its types or its library with the types of classes in its library. After that, I went to the main.dart and just for quick wiring, I used the my app scaffolding and replaced the home widget, which is now texty. This is not something I would do in normal practice, this is just for the tutorial today. Thanks for watching and follow me for more tips and tricks on Flutter and I'll catch you later.